Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over this 2021 Ram 1500 Eco Diesel. But I would like to give a special thanks to Dateland, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram for providing with the Ram. If you're in a market for a Ram, you can come check out Dateland, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram. But I start off underneath the hood here of the Ram 1500 Eco Diesel. Once I open up the hood here, it does reveal Ram's 3 liter V6, which makes 200. And 60 horsepower, 480 pound feet of torque. It's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. As the Ram 1500 sits, it weighs 5,200 pounds. Fuel economy is rated at 22 in the city, 32 on the highway, and 26 combined. Even though this vehicle weighs nearly 5,000 pounds, it still does get really good fuel economy here with the three liter Eco Diesel. And this also has the best in class uh, towing at 12,560 pounds. So it outbeats the Ford and the Chevy Silverado with this diesel powertrain here, but shedding the hood here of the Eco Diesel. Shedding the hood here and stepping away, let's look at the exterior styling. I think the Ram 1500 is a handsome pickup truck, but just for my honest opinion, I like the Chevy Silverado, which looks more aggressive. Looking at these headlights here, you're gonna be a full LED with an LED turn signal, with an LED daytime runner light, with an automatic low and high beam. And down here, Ram does throw in these LED fault lights here, a little part of the fascia. There's some chrome accents here. You get chrome tow hooks. I like this big old grill, which has the Ram name spelled out. There's a front facing camera. There's front parking sensors here. But I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section. What do you guys think about the Ram 1500? Like I mentioned, the, Silver, the Chevy Silverado is gonna be my personal uh, taste when it comes to more of an aggressive look. But the Ram 1500 is a handsome looking pickup truck. I'm making our way to the side of profile here. Looking at these tires here. These are 285, 45. Good your tire wrapped in this 22 inch rim design. I do like the silver with a dark gray finish here. This also has air suspension. I think it's the first pickup truck in the segment to get the air suspension. I think the Ford and the Chevy still uses leaf springs uh, on their pickup trucks. Looking here, there's the Ram with the limited badge here. There's also this LED side marker with a chrome mirror cap there. Looking here, this is 1500 Eco Diesel badge to let everyone know that you have the uh, Eco Diesel powertrain. And up top, Ram does offer a panoramic sunroof. The wheelbase for the Ram 1500 is at 144.5 inches with an overall lift of 232.9. Walking up to the fuel door here, it does reveal the DEF fluid, which stands for diesel exhaust fluid. So you get this changed out at every 10,000 miles or whenever the DEF fluid is running low. Shutting this back here and making our way to the rear here of the Ram 1500. Looking at these tail lights here, they're full LED, turn signal, reverse light, and brake lights. This is for the blind spot monitor, which is integrated into the tail light housing here. There's the limited badge here. There's the Ram emblem, which is massive. There's a standard backup camera. Looking down here, there's your seven and four pin connectors, LED lights for the tag. There's gonna be dual tip exhaust. And like I mentioned, Ram says you can tow 12,560 pounds. There's rear parking sensors. Open up the cargo back here. It does have a damp opening tailgate. It does have a spray bed, which I do like a lot. It's LED lights here, but there's gonna be tie down hooks back here so you can tie some stuff down if you would like. And this is a five and a half foot bed, but let's hop into the interior of the Ram 1500. Sitting inside the interior of the Ram 1500 Eco Diesel, this has the best in class interior. As you guys can see, a very nice interior. This does have this 12 inch display. Here's a Uconnect 4 system. It doesn't get the Uconnect 5 system for this model year, but shutting the door here of the Ram 1500. The door sounds pretty solid, but to start up the Ram, put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button right here. Like I mentioned, this does have the Eco Diesel powertrain. You guys can see the gauges did a nice sweep. Looking at the door panel materials here, gonna be a nice soft touch material. There's real stitching, two person memory seats. This also has the Harbin Carden sound system, which sounds really good. It is automatic up, automatic down for the driver and passenger. You can also power fold the mirrors in if you would like. So if you guys were staying on a tight street or you're in downtown, you want, if you want no one to take off your mirrors, you can power fold them in if you would like. You can also lock them if you had kids that like to throw stuff out the window. There's gonna be this nice material here on the actual door panel. There's like this wood, there's this wood trim here. Nice grab panel to shut the door. Down here's gonna be additional storage, cup holder and whatnot. You, this also has adjustable pedals. So if you're short like myself, you can bring the pedals towards you or far away from you. There's electronic parking brake, your headlight controls, the dimmer switches. This is a manual tilt telescoping wheel. I'm surprised to see that here on this 1500 uh, limited trim. There's the, the turn signal stock and wind wiper stock. Looking at the steering wheel controls, it does offer adaptive cruise control with stop and go. There's the RAM emblem. Voice controls are gonna be here. You can also cycle through this LCD display by using this uh, pad here. You can customize that screen to your liking. 
For 2021, Ram has offered a heads-up display, but this one doesn't have it, and also a rear-view camera mirror. And also with the trailer assist, this one doesn't have it, but it does have an integrated uh, trailer brake control. This is how you put the vehicle into reverse. Of course, put your foot on the right and switch to the right. For the backup camera, it does reveal a top-down 360 view. There's different angles around the vehicle, nice high resolution, but I wish it took up the complete screen here. You can switch over to neutral and switch over to drive and switch it back into park. Like I mentioned, push button start is right there. Big knob for the volume and tune. This is your uh, physical hard buttons here for the fan speed and temperature control. You can keep assist, parallel park, also a hazard button there. Additional storage up here. Like I mentioned, this does have the Harman and Kardon sound system. There's a 12 volt right here. Looking down here, this does have the air suspension so you can lower and raise this truck if you would like. There's a stability control, tow haul mode, front and rear parking sensor. You can turn that on and off down here. It's gonna be two USB-Cs, two USB port, a little small storage compartment there. My iPhone 12 Pro Max does fit. This also offers a wireless phone charger. Looking at the key fob here, I showed you guys this before. There's a lock, unlock. You can also lower the, the tailgate. There's a remote start. You can also lower the vehicle if you would like as well with a panic button. It does have the RAM limited badge in the back with the dark chrome accents here on the key. The key does feel nice in my hands. Open up this, it does reveal two cup holders. And this right here does reveal a coin holder. So you can put your coins and whatnot in, in there. Uh, looking here, does this have the limited stitch here on the center uh, console? It does reveal a storage here, which shows you a US, which has a USB port in there. And it also reveals more storage. You can also slide this back and it reveals more storage. There's also a household outlet right here. Closing it off. And above me, there's this big uh, panoramic sunroof to light into this cabin. It's gonna be LED lights throughout the cabin. There's some controls here for the tailgate. You can also open up the uh, rear uh, glass there if you would like via the controls here. It's gonna be a two level glove box, which offers a deep amount of storage here on the top. And it does offer a decent amount of storage in the bottom compartment as well. These seats in here, they're supportive, they're comfortable. They're for a wider frame person but they do hold you in place. I like the piping and stitching here. But overall, the Ram 1500 does have a nice interior compared to the Ford and the Chevy uh, competitors. So to get into the back seat here of the Ram 1500, open up the door here. Once you open up the door, the running boards will pop from underneath the vehicle. But getting back here, I'm only five foot eight. I do have a decent amount of headroom here. Looking here, there's this beautiful panoramic sunroof to let light into this cabin here. There's gonna be two mat pockets for storage. There's your own set of rear air vents here. There's a small storage compartment. There's three level heated and cooled seats. There's two USB-Cs with two USB ports. That's a household outlet right back here. And underneath here, Randolph's give you this uh, storage compartment or you can turn this into an actual cooler. The materials are carried over from the front to the rear. Nice high quality touch materials here which I'm really surprised to see. Most of the competitors were cheap out in the back seat. This is grab handle, so if you're short like myself, you can hoist yourself up into this big old pickup truck here. And this also has the first recline function in the segment. Once you grab the handle underneath the seat here, you can have the seat in its upright position or you can recline it. So if you're on a long road trip, you can definitely uh, scratch out back here in this big old pickup truck. Pulling this armrest down here, it does reveal two cup holders with a storage compartment here, which is lined with felt. Pushing this back up and lifting this up, it does reveal some underfloor storage here. So you guys wanted to put your work tools and whatnot, you can definitely do so. But overall, the Ram 1500 does have a spacious back seat. So starting off in the 2021 Ram 1500 Eco Diesel, this makes 260 horsepower and 480 pound feet of torque. It's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy for this Ram 1500 Eco Diesel is rated at 22 in the city, 32 on the highway and 26 combined this truck weighs 5200 pounds so that's really good fuel economy and it also has best in class towing with the uh, diesel powertrain at 12,560 pounds so it outbeats the chevy the ford the tundra and also the nissan titan so like i mentioned it has best in class uh, towing great visibility this also has adaptive um, adaptive cruise control with stop and go and also with rear cross traffic alert great visibility like i mentioned these big side mirrors so you can also power fold them in and out if you like like i mentioned if you're like in a tight street or you want someone to take off your mirrors you can power fold them in this also has one of the biggest uh, infotainment systems which is a 12 point uh, 12 inch display is a uconnect 4 system it's not the uconnect 5 system which is a really good system the uconnect 5 even though it's not the 5 the 4 is really good as well you can this also supports apple carplay and android auto 
and this powertrain is just refined very smooth and it makes 480 pound feet of torque around 1600 to 2000 rpm if i'm not mistaken so it gets off the line really fast would you just feel the torque it pushes you in the seat the seats in here they're comfortable they're supportive they hold you in place but they're for a wider frame person i do like the piping and stitching here on the seats And this is a three liter V6, so it's not like inline six like I had, like it is in the um, GM products. Um, I haven't tested the inline six from the uh, Chevy or the uh, GMC Sierra just yet. Hopefully I will in the near future. But the V6 powertrain, I, I actually like this V6 powertrain. It's really good, very efficient. Like I mentioned, 22 in the city, 32 on the highway, and 26 combined, even though this truck weighs 5,200 pounds. This can tow 12,560 pounds. Like I mentioned, best in class. The steering feel is very playful, of course. It's a truck, very numb at the same time, but you can't feel what the front tires are doing. These are a 285-45 tire, riding on this 22-inch rim design. So very big tires, but that powertrain is just so good. And it does sound really good. If you guys want to hear that clattering sound from the, the diesel powertrain, it does have it, but it's very muted in the sense, but I like the way that it sounds. But let's do a launch here really quick. <laughs> I think zero to 60, maybe 7.7 .7 seconds. So really good zero to 60 timing. If you guys wanna get a six second uh, truck, you guys have to look at the Ford uh, Power Boost that offers 430 horsepower and 570 pound feet of torque so it's gonna outbeat this uh, power this diesel powertrain here but this truck just drives so smooth very refined great powertrain great visibility great comfort and i do like this massive 12 inch display um, now ford does have a 12 inch display as well it does offer uh, really good technology in this truck great driver's assistance so me personally i feel like this is the truck to beat because the exterior styling looks really good but keep in mind like i mentioned i do like the exterior styling of the chevy uh, 1500 but gm hasn't updated that hasn't updated that interior just yet so maybe for the 2022 um i was hearing some rumors that they might uh, have a newer interior fingers crossed um let's see what gm see what gm brings to the table but i think the ram 1500 here is the truck to beat honestly like i mentioned you get everything great powertrains this also has the fastest pickup truck in in the segment which is the ram trx that makes over 600 horsepower um i think it's the only truck in the segment that's that makes that much horsepower because the ford raptor uh, ford is supposed to be coming with a ford uh, raptor r they're supposed to have 760 horsepower but i'm not too sure but like i mentioned um the ram 1500 is the truck to beat because it just offers so much good technology great driver's assistance great visibility great comfort great powertrain so like i mentioned i think the ram 1500 is a truck to beat so after spending time with the 2021 ram 1500 eco diesel starting price here is at fifty-six thousand fifty dollars with the options and accessories including destination the eco diesel stickers for seventy thousand nine hundred and forty-four dollars hope you guys have enjoyed this review be sure to follow me on instagram at drive on reviews and hit that subscribe button and i see you all in the next video